Hello, I wanted to give you a very quick introduction to our GeoApp Smart for Data Collection application. We're actually targeting this at uh, asset management in particular, but this is essentially very similar to uh, ArcGIS Collector or Collector for ArcGIS. It provides data collection capabilities um, in both online and offline modes. So, um, and it's a widget based application, which is um, a web application. So very different to Collector and it's not a native application. This will run in any browser, on any device, any platform. So let me just walk you through the workflow here. You're looking um, here at uh, a map which contains three layers. You'll see in the left-hand corner here, we've got the three layers listed. So we got water, this is a water focused uh, set of features as well. So we got water service connections, water mains, and we got work orders as well. Now in this particular case, a, a focus workflow here would be a maintenance guy has uh, had a work order um, issued for him to go out and fix something and he's now looking at this on a mobile device uh, he wants to see what that work order is and do the work against that particular asset so what I'm going to do here is I'm actually just going to zoom into the map uh, the uh, you'll see these, this point data here in this particular case we've got two points overlaid on top of one another so we've got uh, the actual work order itself which is this first feature we know it's a high priority, we know, and we've got some of these other fields. This is all filters, so we've just included in this demo three fields. There are a lot of other fields which make up the work order. And then we've actually got information about the service connection, the uh, address, and the meter number. Again, both of that stuff filtered. There's a lot more data there, but this is just for the demo. So what we can actually do here is uh, we can go ahead and actually edit this data. So we're going to open on the left-hand side this Manage Data widget. So you can actually see here, this, is, this provides the ability for someone in the field, a field worker, to not only add a feature to the map, so if they found there was a service connection missing, they could simply click and drop that on the map, but also to actually read and edit a work order. So in this case, I'm going to click on this work order, and you'll actually see now these are editable fields. So again, just in the demo's sake, I could actually include, in this case, some field notes. So uh, let's just say that... Uh, very simply that we just fixed the uh, the issue obviously there'd be more information there than that and we'll click save and what happens there is that data has actually been pushed back into ArcGIS so this application works with server portal or online it doesn't matter it just goes back to that uh, feature layer that service is provided from <clears throat> so that's a very simple workflow view the work order um, and, uh, and fix the issue and then report back via the work order on the work that was done this is all stored again directly in ArcGIS, so there's no intermediate software here. I will point out to you, excuse me, on the left hand side, that this is the offline capability. So if we click on this take offline, this area offline, what that does is that actually copies the base map and the feature layers, these point line and, uh, and line layers, to the device. So you can work completely disconnected. So if we were editing, we go ahead and do our edits. We go back into the office, we, we, pu we push uh, the button to check in, which is just below, um, and that will push that data back into ArcGIS. So very simple workflows to make reporting on maintenance in this case, but any other data type collections in the field very, very easy. One other thing I was going to just note in this interface is we've got a directions widget as well. So that's a turn-by-turn -turn directions widget. So if you're online, this doesn't work offline in this particular instance, and you want to get to that asset then this will actually work. So we're actually going to build, be building an offline version of that in the very near future. So um, that's just worth pointing out within the application. So that's it. If you want to contact us to find out more, uh, it's webmapsolutions.com. Thanks for watching.